All right. Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao coming up. Keith Thurman talks so much smack that he makes me hope he loses. About Errol Spence Jr. and the Mikey Garcia fight. Ridiculous. We're going to talk about that after this in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And also, thank you so much to everybody that supports the channel in the Patreon. Thank you so much to everybody that supports the channel on the uh, Super Chats and in the Venmo and the live streams that we do every month, every Monday through Friday and on Sunday morning. So let's get into this. I have been getting an absolute ton of heat from uh, from Filipino fans. I have to suppose that you're Filipinos because of the names. Uh, but, you know, that's to be understood. Big time Manny Pacquiao fans. And I've said that the guy's old. And people don't like the fact that I point out that the guy's over 40 years old. And it's just not safe to put your money, bet your money on 40 plus year old boxers against undefeated uh, former unified uh, welterweight champions. It's just not a safe bet. Keith Thurman is not a soft touch. Keith Thurman is not Jeff Horn. Keith Thurman is not Adrian Bronner. He's not Lucas Matisse, and I don't care. And now he's had a full training camp, of uh, uh, two, the second full training camp and a, and a comeback fight. The guy is a serious, serious fighter. And I don't know if Manny Pacquiao could have beaten him uh, before the before his two years layoff. And I think that he's had enough time to get himself back, you know, close to that form for this fight. That said, just because I think that Keith Thurman will win, and I'm not 100% on it, I'm, you know, 60-40, 55-45. You know, I never do want to, I never want to, as Rudy Tomjanovich used to say, I don't want to underestimate the heart of a champion. Or the difficulty in the style and Manny Pacquiao's style. Manny Pacquiao's got a very awkward style, southpaw style that go comes in, lets his hands go, and when you start punching with him, boom, there you go. You get hit with a right hook, right? It, while you're trying to stay away from the straight left hand, the bouncing in and out, the side to side movement, all of that stuff can cause a lot of problems and has caused caused a lot of problems for everybody that I've ever seen him fight. So I'm not going to completely write the guy off totally. Now, what do I want to happen in the fight? I'm leaning towards wanting Manny Pacquiao to beat Keith Thurman. Because Keith Thurman talks so much nonsense that it's really hard for me to root for him. In a recent, uh, in a recent interview, there's a bunch of channels that you can go check out that have it up. He talked about, he talks about Errol Spence and how, well, he talked about a couple things. He said how he was the most exciting fighter in the welterweight division. And how exciting his fight was with Sean Porter. How exciting his fight was with, with Danny Garcia. How much more his fight was, how much more exciting his fight with both of those guys were than their fight with each other was, right? Bunch of talk, bunch of bop, 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 bop. 100 miles an hour throwing, you know, talking, talking. I got it. You know, hey man, promote your fight. But when he said that Errol Spence Jr. didn't sell his tickets, in Texas, that was the people of Texas that that bought the fight and Mikey Garcia. Now you're going into the realm of just dis being a being a damn disgrace. Excuse my language. Being a disgrace. That is the same corny ass arguments that other people make just whenever they want to discredit a fighter. Oh, it's not Errol Spence Jr. didn't buy the didn't sell the tickets in his own in his hometown in an in a, it was Mikey Garcia. Even though Mikey Garcia has fought in Texas before and never and never sold what I think he sold 11, 12,000 tickets in Texas. But all of a sudden in Errol Spence's hometown, a town that is very excited about him, a, a town in which he sold out. He, he got what, 16,000 people into another arena close by associated with the with the Cowboys with fighting Carlos Ocampo, who, by the way, was a Mexican from Mexico, I guess. The reason that uh, that it, that did that well was because 
because the Mexicans came, because all the Mexican fans came to see Carlos Ocampo. Look, man, that's not what I, this nonsense isn't what I heard from people. I have no doubt that there's a lot of people interested in seeing Mikey Garcia fight Errol Spence Jr. But it takes two people to fight. It takes two people in every fight. But similar to the way that people stole credit from from Deontay Wilder, when Deontay Wilder fought Tyson Fury in L.A. And people just as a just as a way to discredit, in my opinion, just as a way, a mechanism, uh, a way to discredit Deontay Wilder gave all of the credit for the pay-per-view sales and for the and for the and for the people that showed up there to Tyson Fury. Even though Tyson Fury had never, Tyson Fury had just fought two times on on HB, on uh, Showtime's YouTube channel and hadn't had a fight in America for four years before that. But somehow it was all Tyson Fury. So in the case of, uh, in the case of Keith Thurman, this is all Mikey Garcia is a way to do what? Is a way to discredit Errol Spence Jr. and do what? Make another excuse for you not fighting him? Well, you know, that wasn't Errol Spence Jr. That's not a big fight with Errol Spence Jr. Because I need to fight Mikey Garcia. Is that what, you, is that what Keith, Keith Thurman is setting up? A fight with Mikey Garcia? So he can say, oh, you know, well, let's go to, yeah. I dare you. I double dare you, Keith Thurman. Take you and your ponytail to Dallas and fight and fight Mikey Garcia uh, in the in, in uh, AT&T Stadium. I believe that's the name of it in Dallas. And yeah, and fight them. And let's see if you get almost fifty thousand. If let's see if you get almost fifty thousand people in there and do a pay per view and do a pay per view of close to four hundred thousand. Let's be real about this fight too. If this fight does well on pay per view, and I haven't heard a lot of buzz for it, I'm expecting it to come around, come in at around three fifty. You know, somewhere around three fifty. I don't expect it to do the four hundred thousand that Adrian Bronner and Manny Pacquiao did. Because you ain't Adrian Bronner, Keith Thurman. <laughs> and that's a shame that I can say that in all honesty to be, and I'm not even playing. You not Keith Thur Keith Thurman is not Adrian, is not an Adrian Bronner type of draw. And Adrian Bronner hasn't been a legitimate, has not been a legitimate championship level fighter, hasn't been considered a legitimate championship level fighter since he fought Marcus Maidana several years ago. Keith Thurman is a joke, man. And it's like, I would almost rather Manny Pacquiao beat him so that the belt can be, so that the WBA belt can be with Manny Pacquiao. And you got an outside chance that Manny Pacquiao might actually fight Errol Spence. Maybe beating Keith Thurman will encourage him enough and get him enough heart. You know, he's not going to say heart, but make him slip up enough to fight Errol Spence Jr. Right? The winner of Errol Spence Jr., uh, Sean Porter, if it is, Errol Spence. Now, if Sean Porter were to beat Errol Spence, I have no doubt that Manny Pacquiao would fight Sean Porter. <laughs> I don't believe that Manny Pacquiao would fight Errol Spence for nothing because Errol Spence Jr. was in Dallas at AT&T Stadium, got in the ring with Errol Spence Jr., said, yeah, why not have a fight, and then proceeded not to take that fight. But anyway, it is what it is. You know how it goes. People say a lot of things before fights. People say a lot of things after fights. Keith Thurman says a lot of stuff all the time. Like, cat, like I'm hurt. I can't do the fight. Uh, me, uh, Errol Spence Jr. needs to grow his repute. He needs to grow his name. He needs to get bigger. He need after, you know, I see you. I see you, young buck. I see you. You, you know, you coming up, young buck. Errol, Errol Spence Jr. ain't the young buck no more, man. Errol Spence Jr., is especially if he beats Keith Thurman, solidified as the top welterweight. There are so there are a lot of people who are fans of Terrence Crawford over there w, in the you know with uh, top rank the WBO champion. There's a lot of people that really believe in Terrence Crawford. So you know maybe there are people that believe that Terrence Crawford is the top is the top uh, welterweight or the best welterweight. I don't think too many people think he's the top welterweight but they think that he's the best welterweight and can beat Errol Spence. But they're not asking and wondering what can go on between Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman. People ain't really caring about what Keith Thurman is going to be, what Keith Thurman would do with Sean Porter. To be truth, people already know what's going to happen with Errol Spence Jr. and Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman's going to duck the fight. So 
I say all that and say, man, even though I have, per even though I'm leaning towards Keith Thurman in this fight, because like I said, you just cannot, I cannot with full confidence vouch for a 40 year old man against Keith Thurman. A 40 year old man who, by the way, the last time I checked, and these numbers might be a little off, right? Are is seven and four in his last 11 fights. Manny Pacquiao is not this invincible warrior that people, that the hype had him, people make him, made him, um, the hype of top rank in HBO made people believe between the, uh, what well, I guess is that the Marco Antonio Barrera fight and the Eric Morales or Eric Morales two and the Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight, or actually the Juan Manuel Marquez four fight. It's just not the case, man. There are other there are other fighters that have done very well in the ring against against Manny Pacquiao and have beaten them and they did and beat him. One of them knocked him out cold on his face and he wasn't 40 years and they weren't and he was not 40 years old when they did it. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And With that, I'm out. Peace.